All right, here's the situation. It's a lazy Thursday afternoon and you're going through your saved posts thinking, hey, I'm literally never going to use or see these again. But do you see a way to unsave all these posts at once? And are we going to sit here for half an hour to unsave all of them? The answer is absolutely not. Hi, welcome back, or just welcome. My name is Max Codes, and today we'll be building a bot which will unsave all the useless, unfunny Instagram posts which you've been saving for no reason. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing we need to do is download the Chrome web driver. So head over to the Chrome web driver website and download the appropriate one for your operating system and also your version of Chrome. Make sure you know the location of where you've saved this. Now we can open up PyCharm and import Selenium, which allows us to control the web browser. So head over to the terminal and type pip install Selenium. After this, we need to import these into our Python file. So first import time. So from time import sleep and then from Selenium import web driver. Now we'll need the location that I told you to remember and we'll need to specify that here. So driver equals webdriver.chrome, executable path, and then the location. So this will open the web browser. And the first thing we need to do when controlling the web browser is to log into Instagram. So I'm going to make a function called login with parameters user and password. It's always good practice to save private information elsewhere, or in this case, we'll be inputting it. Now we need to load the website, so driver.get, and in the brackets, put the link for the Instagram login. And then we'll need to wait for the website to load up, so sleep too. Or you could put it longer depending on how fast your Wi Fi is. Now we need to import our username and password. So driver.findElement by name username.sendkeys user, which is one of our parameters. And then we need to do the same for the password, but with the password element and pass w in the sendkeys. After this, we need to hit submit. So to do this, we need to find the submit element. We can do this by driver.findElement by xpath, which is a button of type submit and then dot click. Now, after we hit the submit button, usually we have to wait for a bit so we can put another sleep for. Now that we're logged in, we need to go to our saved posts and unsave the images, right? So I'm going to create a new function called unsave photos and we need to load up the page where the photos are saved. So driver.get and this is my saved link, the max code saved which you can just find by loading up your save page and copying the link. And then we need to wait a bit more, so sleep two, to load up the page. Now we need to click on the first element. To do this, I'm going to get the class of all the save posts, so we can check how many there are and click the first one. So I'm going to put div equals driver.findElement by class name, and the class name is going to be v1 and h3. And then to click the first one, I'm going to put div element by tag name a, Dot click and this will click the first post. Now there are a few elements to unsave and we can specify how many with a for loop. So for iron range, len div, sleep two or less because it doesn't take too long to load up a post. And then we're going to hit unsave. So element by xpath span at class wmtnn.click. And then we need to hit the right arrow so that we can get onto the next page. So element by xpath and then followed by this string, which is its class. Now we're almost done, but in the login function, we need to call the unsave photos function. And at the end, we need to call login. And also we need to specify the username and password. So we can input user and input password. And then it should look something like this. And that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you had any problems, comment down below, but make sure you include some syntax errors and maybe the code to go along with it. Otherwise, it's really hard to figure out what went wrong. If not, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.